Hi guys, today we are trying out this Mega Crystal Growing Lab from National Geographic. It comes with um, materials to make eight crystals, a light up display base to make them glow, and five genuine gemstones. Inside the box we have this crystal learning guide. Let's see what is in this thing. So there's some information about what is a crystal, see um, some fun facts, how do crystals form, um, different types of crystals, and we have the light up base and the AC adapter. So we've got our instructions ready. The kit comes with these silicone cups, the powder for growing the crystals, some seed rocks, this tiny magnifying glass for taking a look at crystals, and this little cardboard barrier to let people know that this is an experiment and not to mess around with it. And I'm also using this popsicle stick to help mix everything together. The first step is to measure out some really hot water in this silicone cup. We're going to fill it up to the fill line. And then we're going to add it to a mixing bowl. Then we're going to take our crystal growing powder We're going to slowly add this to the hot water and mix it with a popsicle stick. Once all the crystals have dissolved, we're going to transfer this mixture into the silicone cup. And we're going to make sure whatever undissolved crystals there are left are going to stay in our mixing bowl. We don't want to dump those in there according to the instructions. Then we're going to take our seed rock. just going to drop it right there into the mixture and I'm going to use a popsicle stick to make sure that it is flat side down. Okay, we're going to put our little cardboard barrier around our silicone cup and we're going to set it aside somewhere safe for seven days. Okay, it's been seven days and we have our crystals here. We drained out the water and let whatever left over evaporate on its own. We got a spoon because the directions say we need to scoop out the seed rocks with a spoon. Here's our first crystal. Wow, that looks really pretty. I really like how this one turned out. Nice large crystals. Let's see if we can get the seed rock out. Wow, uh, that doesn't feel like it wants to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Oh, yep, it broke. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I'm going to put that aside, clean this up. On to the next crystal. Here's our blue one. Oh, there's some residue in there. There we go. Get some of the residue off. Oh, it's so pretty. Crystals are not as big as the pink one, but wow, 
Ah, I love how sparkly it is. Okay, let's see if we have any luck getting this seed rock out. So. Oh no! Oh. Ah, uh, well, I guess I can try to take the seed rock out with my hands. Well, I got the crystals off the seed rock, but at the cost of breaking the crystals. But hopefully the light on the base will be able to shine through and help the crystal glow. Let's clean this mess up. Whoop. Set our blue crystal aside. Let's take a look at our orange crystal. It looks like some tiny crystals grew on the top and they're not really shiny or sparkly. See if we can get any of that off. Mm. No, it's not really coming off. I don't even think I want to try to get that seed rock out. No, I'm not going to take that out. Um, okay, next crystal, our last crystal. This was our glow in the dark crystal set. These didn't grow all that well. It's really brittle. It's falling apart already. And the crystal formations are super small. I mean, you can see them sparkling there, but I mean, they're like barely sitting on top of the seed rock. I don't think there's any chance of getting that off of there. Hopefully it glows though. So pretty. Okay, well here are the four crystals we grew over the last seven days. I think the pink ones are definitely my favorite. So let's check out this lighted base. I got the AC adapter. And we're going to plug this in here. the base into the wall. I'm gonna switch this on here. And there you go. That's what it looks like all lit up. And we're gonna see if the crystals will glow on here. Okay, well with the seed rock in there, it's definitely not gonna glow. Let's try this blue one. There we go, that's much better. So we definitely need to find a way for the light to get through these seed rocks because they're just not going to glow with the seed rocks in there. Even, even this glow in the dark one is not going to work. So we got to do something about those seed rocks. Okay, so this is what I started doing. I'm taking this little tiny screwdriver and I'm manually drilling a hole in the middle of the seed rock. And then hopefully when I put it on the lighted base, 
the light will make it through the cedar rock and the crystal will glow. Let's hope this works. Okay, so I finished drilling a hole in the middle of the seed rock and we're going to see if it helps. And there we go! The light is shining through and making the crystal glow. This crystal broke in half when I was trying to drill through the seed rock, but that's okay, I guess. It'll do. And now I have my pink crystal here and I'm going to drill a hole through that seed rock too. So I have finished drilling a hole through this seed rock. You can see it goes straight to the base of the crystal, nice and clean. And now it lights up on the base. Worked out perfectly. So we had a little problem with the seed rocks, getting them out with the spoon like the directions tell you to, but we worked our way around it and now it works great. It looks wonderful. Overall, we really liked this crystal growing kit. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun kid videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye!